All right, guys, so today we're going to dive deep into the futures market. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of the prop firms go down, um, U.S. traders not being able to trade uh, on these brokers anymore because they no longer offer CFDs, um, things of that nature. Or maybe you've just seen a lot of people moving over to futures and you're coming from Forex. This is going to be your step-by-step -step guide um, into what is futures, what's the differences, what what are you going to be looking to uh, looking into, and and kind of making the transition. So, uh, what are futures? So, futures trading is just the buying and selling of uh, standardized contracts, known as futures contracts, which obligate the buyers to purchase or sell to sell or seller to sell a particular asset at a predetermined price on a specified future date. Traders in the futures market can buy or sell futures contracts on various assets like commodities like oil, gold, wheat, um, soy, um, or even like financial instruments, right? Like your indices, stocks, bonds, uh, or even uh, surprisingly like currencies like the euro and the pound and stuff. So, um, and the futures market is actually regulated by the CFTC and it, it makes it allowed to us in the US. Okay. So what are the differences between Forex and futures? Well, first off, well, you might be used to referring to uh, pips, right? Or percentages. Um, whereas in futures, every small incremental movement is actually measured in decimal points. Um, and each movement is called a tick, right? Which is that relatable version of a pip. So in futures, though, every four ticks equals one point. Now, another difference is contracts versus lot sizes, right? So in Forex, you're used to using lot sizes or mini, lot, mini lots, micro lots, and things like that. Well, in futures contracts, um, they maintain a constant and consistent contract size uh, determined by the exchange, right? So the, the exchange in futures is centralized with two being the New York and the Chicago exchange, okay? Whereas in, in Forex, it's actually decentralized. So there is no central um, or multiple central exchanges. So... Um, however, the, the lot size in, in Forex, right, it differs depending on your leverage. Each broker is different um, on a specific financial instrument being traded, um, like I said, in the requirements set forth by the brokers, where in futures, one contract is one contract. doesn't matter what broker you're using, what prop firm you're on. Um, there's no different leverages and stuff like that. So here are the future symbols and pricing per tick. Okay, so the symbols are, are a little bit different, um, much different actually from Forex. So some examples here are like, you have the micro gold contract, which is symbolized by MCG and it's $1 per tick. So every point, note here every four ticks is one point so one so one point equals four dollars got that one times four is one point is four dollars right now each of these assets and most of them actually have a micro asset and a mini asset okay so micro is going to be your smaller um leveraged or smaller cost contract or asset right so whereas the micro gold contract trades at a dollar per tick and the gold mini contract trades at ten dollars per tick right so and the gold mini symbol is gc1 exclamation point so here are a few others like the euro um and then we have the majors, which a lot of people are going to be looking to move to since CFDs are no longer and actually are illegal in the U.S. So you have your micro NASDAQ, your NASDAQ, I'll put a Q here, oops, uh, NASDAQ, um, 
E-mini. Then you have your micro S&P 500 and your S&P E-mini, okay? And notice the difference per point, per tick in here, right? So your micro is 50 cents, whereas your mini is $5. Same thing on the S&P. The micro is $1.25 and the E-mini the e is gonna be $12.50 per tick, right? So if you times that by four, it's gonna be 20, I think was that $50, okay? So why should you switch to futures? Well, again, like I noted before, futures is actually more regulated and they're, they're regulated by the CT, um, the CFTC <laughs> um, and these regu the regulated brokers are not allowed to be trading or offering indices and gold to U.S. traders in the form of the CFDs. Okay, so in the U.S., it, CFDs are actually illegal. So these regulated brokers are not allowed to offer them. So where they are able to be offered are in the futures contracts, right? So... Another thing is the futures market is what's known as more of a gentlemanly market, right? It's, it's more respectable. It's more regulated. It's more honest. The spreads are lower. They're not going to be manipulated from broker to broker. Um, usually everyone's getting the same price being offered um, with the same amount of spread. And also, if you look at MT4 and MT5 being removed and restricted from a lot of these prop firms, a lot of these brokers, at a more and more rapid pace, it's it's causing a lot of people to come over to the futures market. So, and another big bonus when you're coming to the futures market, if you're looking to get into some prop firms, the price for these prop firms are way more affordable and cheaper, and they're more secure to acquire. Right. For example, if you were to get a 50K from a Forex prop firm, it's going to be probably around two to three hundred dollars, sometimes more for that 50K. Right. Whereas in futures, a 50K prop firm account is going to be forty nine dollars. Right. Some of them are one hundred thirty or so or so. But some of the, the one the best one that I, I use myself and many others that I know making the switch over use top step, which is $49 for a 50 K. Okay. Now here's, we're going to go into a small little breakdown of actually trading these indices in the futures. Okay. Which I haven't seen too many people do. So here are the symbols for the mini and the micro. Okay. So you have your NASDAQ 100, which is NQ, which is your E, which is your uh, mini E mini. And then you have MNQ, which is the micro contract. S&P 500 is ES. Of course, M stands for micro. So then you have MES, micro ES, and then US 30. Yes, you can trade US 30, right? So a lot of the people that trade US 30 in the Forex market, you can trade US 30. It is called YM or the micro contract is called MYM. Okay. Now, break it down even further. You have two types of contracts while trading in futures. You have your continuous contract and then you have your actual front month contract, which has an expiration date. Um, so you can use these two kind of different ways and I can get into that and that's kind of out of the scope of this, of this lecture. But um, if we look at the continuous contracts, they are represented as NQ1 exclamation point, okay? S&P is going to be ES1 exclamation point and so on. YM1 exclamation point. Now, the front month contracts, which is where most of everyone trades on, is going to be like each kind of set months, right? You have January, February, March, so each quarter, right? So here's the breakdown is the first two letters are going to be your product or your asset class, right? Sometimes it can be, th it can be, uh, no, it's two. So like NQ. Or in this example, you have ES, which is your S&P 500, right? So if we look at S&P 500, the two letters move it over to ES. The expiry month is represented here. So if you want to take note and write these down or put them somewhere, save them. The, cur the 
the current one that we're in until March, right? Because we're still in February, goes into the end of March, is going to be H and so forth. Then from March to June will be M. Then the September contract expires. That's going to be U, and that's going to be this third slot here, which is the expiry month, right? And then you have the last section, which is your year. So for example, the current one now, we have ES. The middle symbol is H, because it expires in March. And then the year, 2024. Okay. So I'll leave this up for a second in case you want to write down the contract months, expiry months. Okay. So here are just a few brokers um, in the futures market that you actually can, which is another huge benefit, trade right from TradingView. I know many of us for years have been using TradingView as our charting platform. Well, now you can trade in the futures market through these brokers straight from TradingView and connect them. A lot of them are free. Some of them, it's a small little uh, add-on, but here's just a few of them. You have TradeStation, TradeAvate, and NinjaTrader. Now, essentially, TradeAvate and NinjaTrader are the same company under one umbrella, but um, TradeAvate and NinjaTrader um, are, are big pot. These are the three big popular ones. Okay, um, prop firms. Here's just uh, the top five, in my opinion. Um, it's going to be top step. Um, we have My Funded Futures. Uh, then we have Apex Trading Traders Funding, Bullnox, and you have Elite Traders fund Funding. Elite Trader Funding. Now, the one that I recommend, um, and I would, even for, for beginners, to more advanced is going to be top step. Um, you can leverage these other these other firms. They have crazy discounts and promotions and stuff like that. But um, they do come. Make sure you read all of the rules and all of their requirements, their fees, extra activation fees, and so forth. Um, but in my opinion, top step is going to be your your best bang for your buck. And it is my favorite. It is who I'm funded through. And uh, they have really good payouts. They have a long track record. They're actually, they actually have a floor in Chicago near the uh, CME. So next, we're going to hop over to the charts here and show you some examples. So here we have the E-mini S&P 500 futures for March, 2024. So that's ESH 2024. And then we have some other symbols here in the futures. You do have Euro, right? So if you wanna trade uh, the Euro, uh, gold, and you actually can trade uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so um, it's a different, it is a different, um, symbol here is btc exclamation or one exclamation excuse me exclamation point here so but for here this example we are going to be using um the s p 500 so if you were going to take a trade right we will zoom into price here Okay. Let's say you're going to take a sell. Okay. We already know price is going to go down here, so it is hindsight. <laughs> but if let's say you're going to take a sell, okay? Your foot. Come in here, you put in your short position like we're going to take sells here. Now, we can see here your stop in points. Okay, so your stop right here is gonna be set on the first number in points. So if we set it to five, five points, right? 
And then the second number here, where it says 20, this is your ticks, okay? So 20 ticks is equal to five points, right? Because if four, four ticks equals one point, then we're timesing that by five, right? So four times five equals 26, okay? Or five points, that's their five points here. So that's what these numbers are and the same for the bottom, right? Boom. So if we were going to um, let's see, trading, if we we're going to uh, sell one contract, right? We come here, quantity, one. Now this is just replay mode, but it's something sim similar to this. So one, we would sell one. Well, let's minus, okay. So we have a quantity, sell. Your stop loss is at five points, okay. And then your take profit, five points, okay? So small breakdown of how the tr the ticks and the points are, are calculated, right? So if we move price forward, boom, there we go. Right. So if we move price to real time and we're going to hit a sell, this is how it pops up here. Okay. So you put in your units, one, have your stop loss, take profit, right? And you can you can even set in how much, right? So if you're looking for uh, 250 and you want to risk 250 you can set that in and it'll, it'll calculate the price for you and then you just hit so you can do a limit set your price orders your risk percentage if you want to do that price per risk or you can you can do uh, your stop or you can if you know your ticks which 20 is five points right 20 divided by four is five. So 20 ticks. Let's say we wanted to risk 20 to make a, a one to two, then you have 40, right? Right here, shows you one to two. Risk to reward, right? One to three, 60, right? And then it'll show you here. And then you, if you hit sell, right? It'll reject it because we're off, but you'll have your brackets pop up and you can drag and you can uh, drag and drop and move your stop loss up and down and so forth. So that is it for this video. Um, if you liked, please don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in more information or some more education and um, a deeper dive and mentorship into trading in a futures market or ICT concepts, smart money concepts, hit the link below, jump in the Discord. Um, we trade live Tuesdays through Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I may do some live streaming on YouTube thinking about it but for now on from um, other than for right now you can catch me in the discord link below and I hope you all have an amazing day amazing evening amazing rest of your uh, day night morning afternoon and uh, until next time guys I appreciate each and every one of you and trade safe <laughs>